Hey, what's up everyone? This is Aaron. Uh, it's been a while since I've been an update. Um, I'll just kind of cut to the chase. I have just been getting significantly worse um, since my last video. Um, GI, way worse. Um, there's no TMI in this video. Uh, constant digestive issues, discomfort, bloating, pain, nausea, uh, diarrhea. Uh, it's just been, it's just been, this has been going on for months. Um, I feel like I have the flu all the time. My, my brain fatigue, my vision, my sense of balance, awareness, my pain is worse. Um, uh, my fatigue in general is tremendously worse. I just always feel just like death. So nothing's getting better at all. I just kind of wanted to go through some testing here. So I'll just kind of go quickly. So um, Shoemaker biotoxin markers, I'm definitely off the charts here with multiple um, issues with uh, chronic inflammatory response syndrome. Um, I think one of these other ones is actually off too, but this HLA genotype is, is uh, horrendous. So I just do not do mold very well. Uh, this is just my testing, but these are the numbers that came up. So definitely have chronic inflammatory markers. I did the same test. Uh, I'm just going to go through this pretty quick. I did the same test in July of 2016. Um, most of my markers were worse in terms of because they tested the same things. So I have been getting worse there. Uh, just did a Lyme test through um, MDL. Uh, they're pretty accurate or really accurate. So my doc was basically like, yeah, you probably don't have Lyme disease anymore. It's probably not your issue. Um, you know, this one's equivocal here. Uh, the rest you can see are negative. All negatives here. And then getting into here, she kind of looked at this and was like, uh, like, you know, it depends how dark these, these things are. Some of these are a little dark, some of them aren't. I mean, if, if you guys have any information or if you guys are really good at, to, uh, at looking at this, you can let me know. But, you know, I know 41 is a band that is pretty Lyme specific, I believe. But it's like, I don't really know how to interpret these numbers. I think the information is down here. Honestly, I don't really know what's going on. Um, well, maybe I can try to figure this out here. Uh, positive, five or more bands from 40, 35... No. 30, so I don't even have five or more bands. You see what I mean? So it's like uh, uh, one or two bands from 31, wait, 40, uh, let's see, 23, I guess, is here. Uh, I don't know. You see, this is really confusing for me. So if you guys are good at determining this, and this is the other one. Maybe this one's a little bit more. Uh, this one makes a little bit more sense. 41, 39, 34, 41, 39, 34. So maybe it's equivocal, but alt alternate. Uh, 39, 41. But what are these? No I don't know what these numbers are, guys. I don't really know how to interpret this. But she was kind of like, uh, you know. I don't know. So anyway, that's that's that. And now I was equivocal the first time I did Igenix about five years ago. So I'm just gonna go through some labs, guys. Um, please don't contact my doctor and tell. <laughs> Actually, I don't really care. She doesn't care. Um, so I'm just kind of showing you everything, guys. I don't really care um, because um, basically nothing's working. I just keep getting a lot worse. And I'll kind of tell you things that she kind of mentioned to me. Um, all right. Uh, so this is an old uh, past infection. Uh, IgG is past. This is always high. I don't know what that means. Uh, so this was kind of concerning to her. I have really low aminoglobulins A. Just essentially my immune system sucks. Um, so may do LDI therapy, seeing an immuno immunologist, immunologist or whatever. Um, really low iodine. Um, forgot what she said about that. Uh, let's see here. Um, I forgot about that too. Um, and if you guys see anything, let me know. Past infection again. Uh, past infection again. Um, I gotta ask her about this. Maybe this means it's positive. Uh, I forgot what IgM is. Um, uh, really low vitamin D. Uh, so I'm, I've, I've been supplementing with vitamin D for a long time, so it's not like I can really do anything else with that. And I get a ton of sun, so uh yeah so that's that uh, let's see here these are all from this year um i guess my insulin i and really low coq10 so she just wants me to supplement with that 
Um, let me know what you guys think. Um, these are all, you can see the dates, February this year. Uh, really low natural killer cells. Um, so just immune, si immune system freaking blows, basically, is the point of this story. So five, um, really low. Um, yeah, that's not good. So, uh, so mold, I do have mold in my body. So this came back a few years ago. So I did one in 20, 10 of 2016. Um, and you can see that uh, here's the 2016. So it went from, you know, everything went up. Ochre toxin went up, aflatoxin. Uh, I guess this one um, stayed the same or it wasn't tested then. I'm not quite sure. Uh, well, actually, why didn't they? Huh. I don't know why they didn't have it another test there anyway so it's still technically not present for ochre toxin aflatoxin but gliotoxin is obviously very very present um, so I do have some mold in the home I did get I did spend way too much money and uh, get a company out here I, I should have done an ermi um, but I had a company come out and do some swabs of my home, um, basically that cladiosporum um, aspergillus penicillin-like is just kind of, you know, it's, it was on my windowsill, it was on my um, AC unit. So we're getting that cleaned up. Um, so there wasn't like a giant water leak where we have to rip out walls. It was basically just like localized spore growth um, was what was happening there. So we're gonna get that cleaned up. Hopefully that'll help my exposure levels. Uh, let's see, what's this? This is so hard to determine, to just figure out what's going on, guys. But if you're good at knowing fatty acids, feel free to let me know. I mean, who the hell knows what's going on here? I am supplementing with GLA, gamma linoleic acid. I guess that's right here, G linoleic acid. So the fact that this is high, I don't know if I should be stopping. Again, this is way out of my, um, way out of my, uh, uh, this is really complicated <laughs> so and I know a lot of these are like ratios you know ratios of six to four or omega six to omega three and nine and so I really have no idea but if you guys um, have any insights if, if anything's standing out to you and blaring out to you just let me know that's kind of why I'm showing you because there's a lot of really smart people that watch this so um, oh good it looks like my ammonia is is low okay that was something that I was curious about um, one thing that's interesting, um, okay, I showed you the recent ones. I don't want to show you tests from 2016. That's kind of pointless. Um, what's December 2018? What's this? Um, oh, is this the same thing? Immunoglobulin 54. Hold on a sec. Where was that immunoglobulin 54? Is that this test? Let me see here. No, so it's actually so. Oh, huh, that's interesting. So I did this in so 53, 859, 191. 53, 59, mm. Oh, they're almost exactly the same. Well, that's good. At least at least it's been. Cons I did this uh, three three months before. It's crazy. This is how many testing I do. I don't even remember what I'm doing. Um, uh, I guess that's high. Um, there's just too much information, guys. I mean, if you guys have any information here, that would be really great. Um, uh, yeah, low here, I guess, immunoglobulin, uh, low here. So that's that. Let me see. That's basically it. All the most recent stuff, guys. Um, something interesting that I did a sleep study a few years ago. And my stupid ENT was like, "Oh, you're fine. It doesn't it doesn't quantify you for having sleep sleep apnea. Therefore, you're therefore you're fine." So I have to get this interpreted. But long story short, I well, obviously I sleep like crap. But this was a while ago, and like, look, mild obstructive sleep apnea. Like, how is that not something to share? Like, so let me see here. So yeah, he basically was just like an insufficient number of events to draw conclusions. Okay, well that's not really helpful. Yeah, I snore a lot. Cool. 
Um, what else? Yeah, so like this patient would meet standard criteria for recommendation to utilize nocturnal. I don't know what MPAP, but it's probably similar to CPAP. So anyway, so maybe I'll look down this. Maybe I just have like, a, maybe this is part of why I feel horrible and my immune system's bad because I never ever get good sleep. I don't know. Um, so I'm looking into that as well, but that's basically what I wanted to make this video for. Oh God, I feel horrible just making this video, guys. I feel like I'm going to throw up. Um, Anyway, just want to let you guys know what's up with that, and uh, uh, I'll keep you guys posted. Sorry it's been so long. Um, I, I have no idea what to do. I am just, like, not well, like, just so not well. Um, so, uh, yeah, um, not well and not working, so that's a great combination. If, if any one of you has is is rich or wealthy and wants to help that would be really great financially I'm, i hate asking but i always i feel like i need to be asking these days um i do have a gofundme but it's like three years outdated um uh, but anyway you can just message me or email me or something if you feel like helping in that way because as most of you guys know none of this stuff is really covered uh well some of it is but um most of it's not Okie doke. Talk with you soon, guys. Thanks. Thanks for listening. Talk later. Bye.